video is to demonstrate some of the paragraph formatting features in Word 2008 for Mac. You notice that I have a document with several paragraphs in it. The first thing I want to show you is how to insert a page break. Page break is a way to force some text to start at the next page instead of letting it just automatically flow based on the amount of text that's there. So for instance, um, let's say that um, I have this text here which is annual fees and I want it to be on the beginning of the next page. To do that, I just put my cursor where I want the page break to be, say insert, break, page break. And you'll see that that pushes it down to the next page and now it's at the top of the next page. I didn't have to put in a bunch of extra enters, the page break forces it to be at the top of the next page. So that's very useful. Another thing you'll often want to do is modify a header or footer. <clears throat> that's the text that's in uh, at the top of every page. To do that, the easiest way is to just double click up here in the header. See, once I've double clicked, um, I have this text area up here where I can type into. Uh, often for research papers, you may want to, you may have to put your last name up here. You can do this like so, make it right aligned. For instance, I'm going to say close. And now you'll see that my last name is in the top part of every page. Another thing you'll often need to do is insert page numbers into your research papers. To do that, you're going to go to the insert menu and say page numbers. It's pretty easy. We choose where we want them, either the top or the bottom in the header or footer respectively, and where we want them aligned, whether we want them center, left, right. Uh, I'm going to choose right here, and I'm going to keep this show number on first page checked. Click OK, and you'll notice that we add in page numbers up here into the header section that are right aligned. I scroll down, you'll see that my second page is number two. I'm going to undo this and show you another option here. When we insert the page numbers, if we want more control over what the page numbers are going to look like and what they're going to do, we might click this format. And you'll see here we can choose the exact format for the page numbers. We can also start numbering um, at a different number besides one. One reason that you might want to do this is if you have a cover page that's the first page in your document but does not need to be numbered. So, for example, if I had a cover page, I would probably want to start numbering at page zero, like so, and then not show numbers on the first page by unchecking that. Now when I click OK, you'll see that my first page doesn't have any page number on it, but my second page does have page number one on it. And often that's something you'll want to do. Another very common thing that we'll often have to modify is the line spacing. There are several ways of doing that. Uh, the first thing you'll need to do is select the text that needs to be changed. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to go over to my toolbox and click Alignment and Spacing. And on this tab you see there are several different spacing options. There's this button for single space, for one and a half space and double space lines. Now if we want even more control over this um, you'll see that there's also something called paragraph spacing and what that does is it will put in a little bit of space before or after paragraphs to space those out. So you notice here I have um, zero before spacing. I'm going to take that up to six and make my after spacing zero. So what you see is before each paragraph there's a little bit of space that's not the result of uh, an extra enter but just because of, of this setting. We can also change the after spacing. In this case now I have six points before and twelve points after. This is automatic spacing that's inserted.
You also see that in this box we can control the indentation. So we can control what the left and right indentations are. Um, this is for all the text that I have selected. Um, also we can do different spacing for the first line indent. Now this is all things that we could do with the rulers, but in this case we're doing it with the, um, with the toolbox. So just two ways of doing the same thing. And the last thing I want to show you is the margins, which you can get through through the document margins area of the toolbox. You notice here I have a one inch margin on the left and the right and the top and the bottom. And I could easily change this either by pressing the buttons or by just typing into this any number that I want for all my different margins. And you'll see the margins are reflected in the blue area in the ruler. So this has been a video demonstrating the paragraph formatting options in Word.